Welcome back to the San Juan La Union vlog. We're going diving today. Come along. I think you'll like this. Just a short drive, and I'll speed it up to show you um, eight minutes from Ile Norte San Juan La Union to uh, Dive Union, which is located in the Kahuna Resort. So it's eight o'clock. I'm up way before I normally get up, and I'm at the Kahuna. What's it called here? Kahuna Resort in Herbistondo. Really nice. Check out this old board. It's kind of carved out of wood. They got the AC blasted in here. This couch, family of four could sleep on. <laughs> and one monkey. <laughs> so there it is. Kahuna Beach resort and spa oh wow uh, my first time here I'm meeting the dive master here and this is it right here so if you're interested in diving here's the info you can go ahead and just push uh, pause on the on the video to get the numbers and everything I'm excited. I haven't dove for four or five years. And uh, I brought my diving card with me. As you can see. But this place is really nice. I um, personally haven't been here before. Here's all their awards and certificates if you're interested. If you uh, if you're here, you can always see if somebody's legit. They got a BIR, um, so it has their tin on there and everything. This would be equal to like a seller's permit in California for all my California tax collectors out there. Of course, you got your business permit. So enough of that. But anyway, I just want to give you a quick little rundown of this place. Um, we're waiting here in the front reception. And uh, they took our temperature. They got hand sanitizer. And they are open for business. So if you're in Herbistondo and you want a really nice place to stay, um, go ahead and check out their Facebook page. And they're kind of in the heart of Herbistondo where everything's happening and they have their daily rates um, I don't know if they do a weekly or not but you can check them out and they have really really cute monkeys in the lobby oh. <laughs> all right so we're all geared up uh, rich Got me this right here. It's all ready to go. He suited me up in a, what, five minutes? And then he's got his gear. This is their surf mobile. I'm sorry, dive mobile. Look at that. So top of the line, Patty, Scuba Pro, everything on it. We're taking off, going to Lingsat. So we're here, Lingsat. Look how beautiful this is. And uh, over here, Right there is where they keep the boat. And uh, I'm gonna go over that in a second. Right here, right in front of me here with those um, tall 
light poles. That's Poro Point. You got the radar out there. That big blue building right there, that's Poro Point. Um, right by that big blue building is going to be like your Thunderbird. Kind of, not right by it, but, you know, around that area. You can kind of see Thunderbird, I think, resort in, in the back of that blue building, those white structures. And then around this corner would be Kirill, the surf spot. Right there, you got a rare species called Cell. This is where they keep the dive boat. Come over here, see what they're doing. I'm gonna help them carry it. Kind of drag it out to the beach. Uh, this is the dive boat. It's got a Merc. It's a 30, 30 horsepower, I guess. Looks like this would seat, well, I don't know, probably six, I would say four divers comfortably, maybe six, but uh, it's just going to be four of us out on this. They're pushing it right now. I'm going to give them a hand, so I'm going to stop recording. Here's the supermodel. Hey, did you bring your bikini? No, I forgot it. You forgot? Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of the subscribe. What? Careful. This is a real princess dive. I, I went up there to help, and they already brought everything down. I feel really bad. Rich, can you can you tell I feel really bad? No need to. <laughs> That's what we do, man. That's what you do. Okay, so this is Rich. He is the dive instructor. Instructor, yep. Okay, dive instructor. He's dive master, too? Dive master and instructor. And instructor, all right. He's been here for seven years, right? Yep. Okay. Later on, I'll, I'll do a little interview with you. Sure. But when we're back at the Kahuna. And this one here is the assistant dive master. And then we are at the Lingset Marine Protection Area. Area. I figured it out. <laughs> and that's the watchtower. Is that a big church behind there? That's a big church behind there. Yeah, this is a nice beach. First time I've been on the north side of Kareel. So we're right around that corner there is Kareel. And you can see there's a plane up here. So you got some plane doing some activity because there is an airport out there on Coral Point. So we're going to go out on this boat right here. Let's go now. Hey Rich, how many kilometers out to the sea? Going about 5K. 5K? Okay. So five kilometers, which would be like three three miles straight out this way for a three hour tour. <laughs> Miami Vice. <laughs> Are they fishing? So we 
got? Look at this guy over here. Got a fisherman out here. So we are out in front of Lingsat. So you know how I am with the vlog. Uh, I'm so professional and I uh, know what I'm doing. Got out to Bag Reef and jumped over, went down 60 feet and had a great time. Forgot the camera. <laughs> so uh, this time, not going to forget the GoPro. It was beautiful. Really great dive. Uh, Rich is awesome. Just followed him. It all came back to me. It's, it's beautiful. It was like National Geographic. So if you ever come out to San Juan, make sure you see Rich. And uh, he, you're at the San Juan, no, oh, Kahuna? At Kahuna. He's based out of the Kahuna. This is his boat. So you want to you wanna see Rich. Um, uh, I'll give you a picture of him later. I just want to do a quick, there we go. <laughs> Rich told me he doesn't like cameras okay. so much. But he's an excellent diver, so here we go. Hi. <laughs> Great family guy, uh, super easy to get along with. And, uh, and then we got Brian here. Brian is uh, ninja. <laughs> he's got, there you go. He's a diver and he's also a boat engineer, right? So it's like dual purpose. Um, we're going to jump over here at Linkset. It's a, it's a shallower dive, it's at like 30 feet. And I don't know the meters too well, but about 30 feet. And then we're going to work our way up to about 15, 20 feet. As it sits along the surface. And we got a turtle. Turtle spotting. Just poke his head up. Don't like that. So if we're lucky, we may see a turtle on this dive. The things I saw on the last dive were really, I saw two eels. I saw lionfish. Plenty of clown uh, was it clownfish, and one of those nudie pranks. And it was awesome. So we're going down again. I'm going to bring the camera. Sorry on the first dive. I, I screwed up. I was too excited. That's it for now. We're going down to Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> we're going to find the keys to the sea chest. Go down. Malalim yan? So here I am underwater saying hi and uh, start this little voiceover just so you get a feeling of what was going through my head. Rich there, uh, I just followed him and you know, it's either right behind him or beside him. He's always within eye shot of me. 7.7 .7 meters right here. This is the second dive. The second dive wasn't as clear as the first. Uh, I'd say, my guess, 25 to 30 feet visibility. Um, there were some clear patches where maybe it was more. Again, hello. <laughs> I'm goofing off. Uh, second dive I felt really comfortable back to my normal diving self. First dive, it's probably best I didn't have the uh, GoPro with me because uh, I would have been playing with it and couldn't really enjoy everything. So on the first dive, I got to see uh, lionfish, two of them, uh, two eels, one smaller than the other, different colors, they were like blue, and um, what else? I didn't see a turtle, but many other fish bigger fish out there and like I said it's not cloudy like it is here it was it was very clear I would say 40 to 60 foot visibility at least three times as clear as it is here and uh, bright the colors are really popping and uh, very nice it was it, because it's more um, out in the this is kind of like in the bay area whereas uh, fag reef as they call it is 
way out there, uh, five kilometers out in the blue ocean, and this one reef pops up. So I'm just kind of rambling now because I'm following them around. Um, this is only, oh, I want to say off the off the shore, uh, a five-minute boat ride, maybe half a mile off the shore, uh, if that. And there's just like a flush of little particles in the ocean there. I don't know what they're called. You can, you know, name it down below. I, I don't claim to be an expert photographer underwater. Uh, this is like my second time diving in five years. And um, the camera I'm using is a GoPro 3 Hero. So it doesn't have all that great image stabilization and... It's just the technology, this is probably eight years old, this camera. That it still works is amazing. I plan on getting a new one eventually. But uh, here you can see a neat little formation there, a little cone type shaped uh, coral I kind of zoomed in on. Um, in this area, I had to look it up, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, because I, like I said, I'm not an expert, but um, it's called bubble coral. And if you keep watching, if diving isn't your thing, totally get it. You can just skip ahead and, uh, or watch another video. But if, if you're curious, this is diving in La Union. And this is like a super fast dive. I mean, you can get there from the boat to here in like three minutes. So I mean, it's, it's, you know, and if you come to La Union to surf and there's no surf, here's a great thing you can do. And it's not a very deep dive. Uh, 7.7 meters. I want to say that's like uh, 22 feet. Let's see, 7 times 3, 24. I don't know, somewhere around 25, 26 feet, somewhere around there. We might have dipped down an extra 10 feet. I liked it because they had these big, it's like big uh, rock structures and um, lots of uh, soft coral and plants to look at. And in one of the plants, there was really nice, uh, what would you call it, fish in it, you know, kind of kind of like the clownfish that go in the anemone. Uh, I keep on kind of pointing up just so you can see the bubbles go up. I like that effect. And the fish along the edge of the reef here. I like to kind of come down into these little crevices and uh, see what's down in there. The bigger fish were down in there. Rich kept a pretty slow pace, so you could really enjoy. Um, he said it can be clearer than this. This is just how today was. You can see the particles kind of floating around there. Again, I'm kind of pointing up towards the sun so you can see the crevices. Later on in the video, um, just to give you a preview, and I'm just going to talk until we get to that point, I did see... Uh, an orangutan crab, and there's a scientific name for it, but I can't pronounce it. So, orangutan crab, and there, he was situated in the uh, bubble coral, and two nudie branches. I hope I didn't butcher that. This is that bubble coral. I had to look it up to see what it is. It looked like eggs to me, grapes. Uh, a lot of that in this uh, real close dive to the shore. Now the water was nice and warm. Uh, there was one little upwelling area where I got cool. And there were pockets of this where uh, for some reason it cleared up to like twice the visibility. Right here it was kind of in an area where the current was kind of ripping through there so it, w it wasn't ripping but just like moving. Uh, other areas where the current wasn't so strong, it was, it was more clear. We're just kind of cruising along here, along this uh, wall area, or bubble coral. And uh, like I said, if you hold on, I will um, show you that we did see the, and I did my best shot at filming it, the clownfish and the nudibranch, nudibranch, I think it's called, nudibranch, they call them nudies, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, if you want to know more about them, watch Finn Snow, I kind of just zoomed in on uh, this plant here, 
one around over here. I'm trying to kind of get situated behind him. You can see that like a good flow of particles in the in the sea there. There were lots of fish to look at. Again, looking up, you can see the fish. Um, my camera just doesn't do it justice. It doesn't have a light on it. And uh, my camera's so old, the GoPro 3 Hero, that uh, it's, you know, it doesn't even have time lapse on it. There's a fish there. These fish are really bright, kind of in person. I would say the camera didn't pick up the light as well as like my natural eyes did down there. But I, I messed up. Sorry, I'll, I'll do the Fag Reef again and go down with the GoPro. Like I said, I, I have some uh, footage of Cell because she had the GoPro, stick her camera in the water, and filmed us go down. And I'll put that at the end here so you can take a look at that. And you can see the difference in clarity. Again, you're not, this isn't Porta Galera or Barakai, or, you know, this isn't a known place really that people venture to to scuba dive, but it's something you can do if you want to go to La Union and see waterfalls and you want to go surfing and you want to go boogie boarding and hiking and experience, you know, LU and Herbistondo and, the, you know, great restaurants and the beaches and you can still dive. So that's kind of nice and it's you know you just get on this small boat and bam you're out there in 15 minutes to the nicer dive site the bag reef and then this is only like i said five minutes off the coast uh, this dive we did both dives were about 50 minutes um, after the first dive we did a surface interval uh, we went in, changed up tanks, got some water, so we were out of the water for a good, you know, hour. He's pointing here at that bubble coral. There might have been something in there, I'm, I'm not sure. But coming up here in a little bit um, will be the orangutan crab and the nudie branches. Two different ones that were kind of blue, kind of Pokemon looking creatures. They're only like two centimeters long. You'll have to excuse my, you know, filming. I like I said, I this it doesn't have much image stabilization, and um, I was getting my diving diving legs back. You know, I will say when I got back from diving, I took a nice long nap, <laughs> about an hour and a half. <laughs> I, there's a nice colorful coral down there. This part was kind of barren. Like I said, I come up to a, an area where there was two little critters, as they like to call them. Didn't see any sea snake or turtle on this one, on either of the dives. But, uh, like I said, lots of fish, and it was just great to be back in the water again. Um, all the gear and equipment was really comfortable. I liked having that dive watch on. And I could always, you know, see how many meters deep I was and the time of the dive. Trying to kind of do a close-up of the wall here so you can see the stuff that's, on, you know, it's kind of stuck on the wall. Looking for eels. Anything that might pop its head out of one of these holes. I don't know what these long branches were that were coming out of the seawall, but I kind of find them fascinating. Not bad, I guess, for an eight-year-old underwater camera with the original plastic casing. Like, the GoPros now, they have, uh, they come waterproof. Mine, you have to put in a plastic case. So... That's what I'm using here. I'm just kind of following back behind him. So he kind of cleared up right here. I would say that's about 20, 30 foot of visibility. Um, currents were very light to nothing here. 
just a slight flow of uh, water, you know, the slight current, but nothing, nothing you really have to fight or anything. It can be, like, there's, there's times where you can't dive here. If the waves are big, he doesn't go out because you got to take that boat out through the surf. And he's like, uh, you know, if it's overhead high, usually, or even like waist to chest high, he's not going to go out. So here's some stuff he's, uh, okay, so here will be the little clownfish, uh, Nemo type fish. I think there was three, and they're right there in their little home. I try to get up close without, you know, touching anything. That's the thing, I don't want to disturb any of the habitat down there. And this is my best camera work for you. I'm no Finn Snow, but I did my best. If you don't know Finn Snow, he's a, you know, underwater photographer and vlogger here in the Philippines. Check his channel. I'm sure you know it. If you're watching my channel, you got to know. I slowed it down to slow motion so you could kind of see what they were doing. They're really fast. They're kind of hopping up and down in there. And they're protecting their home. And that's, you know, they're like, hey, go away. Leave this area alone. This is ours. But they're cute. And uh, I had to get them. I saw these, not this particular three of them, but also saw a bunch of cl uh, clownfish on the uh, first uh, dive, too. Here's that nudie brunch uh, right there. Looks like a Pokemon type of thing. Tried to get the best filmage of it I could. They're only like two or three centimeters long. Actually, there's two of them there. They're really colorful. And then... I had to reposition myself for this orangutan crab. I heard that they're pretty, uh, you know, hard to find. So it's kind of neat that I got to see one. Orangutan crab is, they kind of um, hide themselves on the, oh no, it's just another nudie branch. Promise you, orangutan crab is coming up. There's actually three of them. He knew right where everything was. You can see the, the water is pretty clear here. I had to reposition myself to get this other crab. It, it really looks like an orangutan, kind of hairy looking and kind of stands there like an ape, an orangutan. And let's see. Still, it's to come. Here's kind of the crevice diving part of it. Uh, it's not a swim through, but it was pretty close. Um, go through these narrow little canyons is really cool. And uh, as you can see, he comes over here and then he takes a left, and then it's almost a swim through. Come over here and you take a left, you'll see it's really cool. It's like a cave, but it's not completely covered. There's a little opening at the top. And I really enjoy swim throughs. Here it is. I'm trying to give you an idea how narrow it is at the top. It feels like a cave when you're in there, if you're not looking up. There, and you just kind of go through there. And uh, that was really fun. I, 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 these are the kind of things that really make diving fun to me. It's like going through a prehistoric world or something. This is, uh, I, I would say, probably about 30 feet deep. Uh, I think in feet, not meters, being from the USA. If you're, uh, you know, a meters type person, uh, that's like that's about 8 meters, maybe. 7, 8 meters, somewhere in there. Or maybe 25 feet. Really, very shallow dive. We were down for 50 minutes. These walls just go straight up. So at the top there, it'd be really shallow. There's some fish. These fish are really colorful. 
I said I, I wasn't getting the colors of them with my camera. If I had a light, I could get some more color into this. Or, you know, a better GoPro. Got some big corals down here. There was a lot of, like, this in the first dive. And super clear. And bright colors. So here's the last kind of neat thing to look at here. Uh, see if I can get down here. This is it. This is the orangutan crab. And like I said, I, I was coming in on it, and then I went too close, so I had to kind of reposition myself and come up and back around to film it. There it is. There's the another nudie branch. He wrote it down there. I don't think you can see it, but it was good to point out stuff. He had a little thing he could write on. Here, this is the part where I had to reposition myself. You can kind of see those boulders. And here we go. I could have cut all this out, but you know what? I just thought I'd give you the whole diving experience. I'm not Jacques Cousteau. And here's the best view I could get of it. They're very small. Again, like maybe three centimeters long. And he's alive. That right there, that's an orangutan crab. And then another nudie branch. Each one was kind of different colored. Some had more blue than others. So anyway, there's just the last little clip. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the diving. I didn't get the better dive. It is clearer than this. I, I don't want you to think like all of La Union is this uh, less of visibility. Um, uh, the first dive was really awesome. It was, like I said, I'll try at the end to give you a clip of at least uh, the two of us going down because I forgot the GoPro and, and Cell had it, so she stuck it in the water and got us following the uh, rope down. And uh, thanks again for watching. And I'll be back soon with another vlog. If you like these kind of vlogs, let me know. Um, I can't afford to dive, but maybe once a month. But I'll, I'll do more if you like them. Again, there's the bubble, bubble coral. That's it. I'll be back soon with another vlog. was the uh, first dive. Just a little bonus footage for you. I thought I'd throw it at the end. You can see how clear the water is here compared to the other dive. No particles in the water. Um, we're descending here. There's not even a viewfinder on the GoPro, so I just stuck it in the water and pointed it in that general direction. And <laughs> She did a good job, actually, of capturing us descending to about, well, I'd say, 60 feet as the top tabletop of uh, Fag Reef here and then so visibility had to have been at least 60 feet because you can see the top of the reef there and like I said I I, I wish I would have done well you normally do you know the deeper diver first then you do your surface interval and then uh, then you do your shallow dive but um, I'll do more diving in the future uh, like I said probably once a month and uh, here you can see how really clear the water is. It's really nice. Um, again, I wish I had brought my GoPro. Out of excitement, I, uh, I forgot it. And see, we're almost all the way down there to the bottom. Probably down at the bottom now. Like, you know, three or four feet from the bottom. That's 60 feet down. Very clear, very nice. So that's it, and uh, if you're in LU, try diving. It's worth it. I, you know, especially Fag Reef. Um, if the waves aren't big, go there.